New details tonight in a double murder that we first brought you on our news at 5 o'clock. A man and woman were shot and killed in an apartment off Gessner and Town Park Drive. That's in Sharptown, Sharpstown. Uh, Channel 2's Keith Garvin is live there tonight with the newest information. Keith? Chris, HPD is still here on scene about six hours after this double homicide. The suspect also was here in custody for several hours after the shooting, and we now know his connection to a child whom police mentioned earlier. Now I heard the shots go off. I didn't know where they come from. They came from here, the Vista on Gessner Apartments on the 6400 block of South Gessner between Bel Air Boulevard and the Southwest Freeway. Cedric Johnson, a neighbor, says he was walking to the store just after 4 o'clock Wednesday afternoon when he heard gunfire. I looked over here, I seen commotion, you know, lady run out and everything. HPD made it quickly to the scene and when officers arrived, they found a man inside this courtyard shot to death. Following a blood trail, they came to this man who surrendered immediately and was arrested as the suspect. Police would then make it to this apartment where they found a woman shot to death. She was the ex-wife of the alleged shooter, the current wife of the man found dead in the courtyard. Man, that's sad, you know. And I'm like, I know how, I, you know, 220 been all messed up. And I'm like, man, that's sad, the cold way okay. to go out. Even sadder for this child being comforted by family friends. He is the son of the woman whom investigators say was killed by his father. Two more tragic, senseless killings in the city of Houston, adding to an already troubling year on so many fronts. It's been a very distressing year. Uh, I wish I had the answers to it. I, I, I wish people would just try to calm down a little bit. You know, I know that sounds very simple, but, uh, you know, if people just treat each other better, that's all we can hope for. And CPS was involved in trying to place the child with relatives, but the family of both his mother and father, the majority of them, are still in their native Cuba. Reported live from Sharpstown, Keith Garvin, KPRC, Channel 2 News. And Keith is